Welcome to Connecting the Dots, our Smart Account and Smart License Learning Series. This video provides a high-level overview of how you can manage your smart licenses. To manage your smart licenses, go to Cisco Software Central at software.cisco.com and log in with your Cisco ID. Then select Smart Software Licensing. After you log in, the default tab is the Alerts tab. Alerts are helpful for you to understand what's going on with your licenses. Minor alerts do not require immediate action, while major alerts will require a specific action. You will also receive informational alerts that do not require any user action. The Inventory tab is helpful for visualizing the licenses that you currently own and how you're using them within each of your virtual accounts depending on your role. Smart Account Administrator and Smart Account Users have access to all of the virtual accounts. Virtual Account Administrator and Virtual Account Users will only have access to the specific virtual accounts assigned to them. You can select the virtual account by name or by tag. We have selected the accounting virtual account and will view all of the licenses and devices within this virtual account. Within the Inventory tab, there are four secondary tabs. The general tab displays your virtual account description and whether or not it is the virtual account. One of the important functionalities under the general tab is the ability to generate tokens. Tokens are used to register products or devices. After registration, the product or device will be visible in the product instances tab. To generate a token, simply click the new token button. You then have the option to enter a description and provide the number of days before the token expires. The default is set to 30 days, but you can enter anywhere between 1 and 365 days. In the future, the user will also be able to enter the maximum number of times a token can be used to register a product or a device. You will complete the process by clicking Create Token. When tokens are generated, they are displayed in the table below. The Licenses tab is helpful to understand which licenses are provisioned and being utilized in your virtual account within your smart account. You can also transfer licenses between virtual accounts within your smart account in bulk or by individual license. To transfer a number of licenses, first select the checkbox next to the license table. Then from the Available Actions dropdown, select Transfer. In the Transfer Licenses window, choose a new virtual account enter a quantity, then scroll to the bottom of the page and select Show Preview to see a summary of the transfer. Finally, complete the process by clicking the Transfer button. When a product or device has been registered, it will be listed under the Product Instances tab. Clicking on a product instance name brings up an overview and event log window where you can view detailed information related to the device, including different licenses that are being consumed. Under Actions, you can transfer or remove the device. You can transfer a device between virtual accounts within your smart account. When you do that, the device will return the licenses it was consuming back to the pool as unused licenses in the source virtual account, and it will start consuming the licenses in your destination virtual account. Next, we have the Event Log tab. All activities taking place in the virtual account will be captured here. Under the Convert to Smart Licensing tab, you can convert classic licenses to smart licenses. You will see four to five secondary tabs depending on your role. Under the Convert Packs tab, you can manually convert classic licenses on a product authorization key to smart licenses. Under the Convert Licenses tab, you can manually convert classic licenses on a device to smart licenses. Under the Conversion History tab, you will see the conversion status of the device-led conversion capability. This capability will convert classic licenses on a device to smart licenses once they are registered. The Conversion Settings tab is available to smart account administrators only. Here you can enable or disable the device-led conversion capability on all or selected virtual accounts. The Event Log tab displays all the license conversion activity for all of your virtual accounts. The Reports tab allows you to generate three types of reports, licenses, license descriptions, and product instances. Within these three reports, 
you can see within a few seconds a quick snapshot of all of your smart licenses throughout your smart account. Let's go back to the license descriptions report. Here you have the ability to filter by virtual account, by license type, and by subscription status. Within the subscription status, you can view licenses getting ready to expire. This helps you make educated decisions without having to guess. Under the Preferences tab, you can choose to receive daily notifications on the activity of your smart account by checking the respective checkboxes under Daily Event Summary and scrolling to the bottom, Status Notification. You'll click Save, which will save these notifications. This is a convenient way to understand what's going on with your licenses for the past 24 hours via an email summary. If you're using the Smart Software Manager Satellite, the Satellites tab will show you any of the satellites that are currently connected to your smart account. And finally, the Activity tab keeps track of things that have happened along the way in your smart account, and you're able to view the various license transactions listed chronologically with the most recent on top. In the upper right corner of the Smart Software Licensing page, there are hyperlinks that allow you to provide feedback, request support, and get help. The Virtual Assistant allows you to interact with system experts. In addition, you can access related links, additional documentation and videos, open a case, and contact us. Thank you for watching our video to learn more about how you can manage your smart licenses in Cisco Software Central. If you are looking for additional resources, check out the Cisco Smart Software Licensing page and Sales Connect for more information.